Hello everyone, um, after my little river video I did promise you that I was going to go up and show you my boat and um, unfortunately that video after I made it didn't actually come out um, so I'm going to show you it now Let's see Okay, so she's an Alaska Odin That's the make of the boat She's an Alaska Odin um, that was made in the 70s which is pretty old but um I actually searched for this boat for a long, long time. It's one of, one of those kind of things uh, when you're a kid and you're into fishing, if you, when you see a, a fishing boat, you think, oh, I, when I grow up, I'm going to get that boat. Well, this is what happened with me. Um, I came across this boat on the website and I thought, mm, you know, I've wanted this boat all my life. I'm just going to buy it. So I did. Um, she's had a lot of work done to her. She used to be orange, the same color as the canopy here. All this top part was all orange. Um, what I've basically done is, is I've stripped the whole top half of the boat off, basically, and um, the glass, all this glass fibre panelling here, even this top section here, um, I took it all off about two months ago, and I sanded the whole lot of it down, and um, over time I've been repainting it, doing it up, filling all the holes in, blah blah blah, and I think it looks much, much better now than it did before. Um, I've had her, I've had her out twice last year. I haven't had her out at all this year, just because I've been so busy working on it. Um, this rubber for the glass was an absolute pain in the arse to get back in. Um, the rubber seal all the way around, because you have to fit a rubber seal into the rubber seal, which is basically a nightmare. Uh, She's registered here in Norway to me, which is fantastic. This, in case someone steals it, um, I can get it back or I can get my insurance money. Uh, yesterday, I was working on a few, adding a few more rod holders to it. I haven't finished yet. You can see here where the fiberglass is orange underneath this white, because I've been drilling holes. These are not, these are not screwed in place yet. The plan is with, with these is to have one rod facing out the bark at an angle and one out the side and this, it's the same on the other side and that will give me a decent pitch for um, trolling if I want to troll. The engine is a Suzuki two-stroke uh, 30 horsepower engine which is pretty powerful. I mean this I, I had out last year it was going up to 40-50 um, kilometers an hour for a boat that is pretty, for me anyway for a boat that is pretty fast. Um, considering this is a, like a boat that is, was built in the 70s. Um, inside here, I still a little bit more work to do with these chairs. These, these chairs, they will eventually have to come off. Um, I have to paint the stool parts again. Um, inside here, I've, I've hand painted all of this. Um, this top half here, as I said to you before, was actually taken clean off and I've actually had to use marine silicon on here on this edge all the way around and then put the roof back on and then screw it all back down again. Um, so yeah, so I reckon within, I'm hoping to get her out this week sometime. Maybe maybe within two weeks I'd imagine I'll have the rest of it finished. Because I have the parts here to put my fish finder back in. I have an HDI4 which is basically one of the best fish finders money can buy. But it's um, the thing with fish finders is is they are they are they are okay at finding fish, but I, what I tend to use them for is to find the depth. And my one has a built-in GPS, so if you study charts, you can kind of guess where fish are going to be just based off charts and water depth and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, so yeah, so I was over here add more. Uh, Add more rod holders for the hole saw. Still got a little bit more work to do. But yeah, it's looking good. I mean this is this is just a little boat for me so I can go out in the sea or on a lake. Um and catch fish basically. And maybe do a little bit of island hopping as well, I think. You know, store some camping gear in here and go, you know, I went to the fjords and I'll be able to camp we'll be able to camp on secluded islands and I'll be able to do as much fishing as I like. You get the drift. Yeah, so a few weeks, two weeks, I would imagine, 
she will be ready. Now guys, um, I'm not sure this will interest a lot of you because I know this is basically a shrimp channel. But I will, I will probably put this in a playlist where it's not anything to do with shrimp. So if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, um, you can tell me in the comments below what you think. If you don't want to see, I mean, you don't have to watch the video. So, I mean, my channel is is mostly um, to help other people with shrimp. But um, I also want to use it to record what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, so when... Eventually when I kick the bucket, because we will all kick the bucket, your family will be able to look back on this and say, Whoa, that is what he did. You know? Or that is that is what he was like. Okay? Anyway guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.